Alright. Welcome to Atomic Heart. Been looking forward to playing this game for a while. Uh, I originally thought it was by the creators of Bioshock. It's not, but it's heavily inspired. Quite obviously inspired. Uh, if you've looked at any of the trailers, you'll you'll see this. But, um... Yeah, I'm really interested to see how these, uh... How these guys do. I know there's a little bit of controversy. Given the whole... Um... Tensions around the world right now, and the fact that this is developed in a specific country that um, is not playing very nice with others right now, but um, I want to play the game, so I'm going to play the fucking game. Got my own thoughts on it, and if if there was ever a genuine care to hear what I had to think, then I'll, I'd say it, but what are the chances most people watch this anyway? So we'll start a new game. Um, the hell is this? Um, are these different? Oh, these are the difficulty levels. Easy, me uh, medium, and hard. Do you like to overcome difficulties? That's admirable. We'll leave you to it. There is no. This is no walk in the park. Some combat situations may seem difficult. I'll, I'm I'm cool with that. As long as it's not fucking hard as shit. Like they say medium and then it's fucking God of War. You know? Charles's tip. Well, let's see what Charles does for us. I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it glove? I've been here before. Talks to the glove? Okay. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> so this is the preset uh, graphics that it gave for me. It set everything to atomic. I might have to turn it down a little bit. Maybe not. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. an android? The other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. That's fucking crazy. It is a bit choppy. I think... I think I'm gonna... I'll start it low and work my way up. So, apologies for the inconvenience. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Okay. I don't have a way up. Oh. Um. Sure, thanks. Oh, it's timed. All right. Well, it's gonna be hard to get used to. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Why does that sound? Working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. This guy, this voice actor, sounds really familiar. Wow, what a beautiful day. With your Volvas box on train. They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? Let me lie there all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. I'll wait till the next Give me stop. Your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Uh, oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's zero four. What's the pig all about? Okay, then. Is that like an allusion Get to, to work, Animal Farm? Move it. Oh, you did it! Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Good morning, my Whoa. boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. 
awaiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd oh, it sounds like V from I Cyberpunk. I myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. Hmm. I can't tell if the mouse sensitivity is like super high and it's like choppy. Comrade Major, there is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions for once. You dickhead. Sounds a lot like V. I don't know, is it just me? Comrades, Icarus platform residents, and facility guests. Yes. The address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Gather in the town square to hear his address. Get connected straight away. That's weird. The, the like lead that it has in it's kind of fucking with me. I, don't, I wonder if there's... I wonder if I'll get used to it or if I'm just going to want to turn it off. There is a way to turn it off. The like, you see that? It like goes oh, like away and then forward. I suppose it's a little realistic, but it's hard to get used to. Buy a copy of the Facility Herald, comrade. Breakthroughs abound. Biology, robotics, gunsmithing, and just in time for universal polymerization. You can't stop progress, huh? That's right. Doesn't it fill you with pride? Uh. What can you tell me about gunsmithing? Oh. Huh. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Take it easy. A newspaper. What the hell do I need that for? In case you're unaware, newspapers are a source of information. I've got a talking glove on my hand. Can I just get the information from you? Comrade Major. May I remind you that I can display information about our surroundings on your retina? It won't make you any smarter, but it will make it easier to read. Use your glove's built-in menu. <sighs> Lousy prick. Is Char- is Charles or Charles the glove? What's up, fella? Can't wake him up. I had my polymer treatment yesterday. And I feel really great. And I've already started studying physics and chemistry. God damn. <laughs> Comrades? What's all this about? Those look a lot like the things that are on the glove. Or your life will come to naught. Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. Thought device? No, thanks. I'm just browsing. Why restrict yourself to browsing when you can get your own personalized device this very What instant? is that on your forehead? Is that the thing? I can even help you pick out the right unit. It can even match your eye color. Hey, how about a gooseberry violet model, huh? You are polymerized, aren't you? I sure am. Say, I thought these devices weren't going to come online until Monday. That's right, comrade. But judging by your uniform, you are clear to activate your thought neuroconnector right away. At the moment, the device functions as a personal telephone set and headlight, but it also allows the user to get used to wearing it on their head. Huh. It, it's free, right? Absolutely. Allow me to connect you. All right, then. All right, then. Oh, we just go with the pink one, huh? 
Put it on the head? I don't want to put it on my head. Ah, oh, that's lame. That guy looks like a fucking dork. Oh, that's odd. I can't seem to access your biometric Thank data. God. Maybe there's some sort of malfunction. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. Ah, don't sweat it. I'm not really a jewelry guy anyway. So long. I do apologize. I mean, have a great day. I am, but that's not jewelry. Hey, that's just ridiculous. Experimental glove. I get the feeling you'll be more useful than this goofy contraption on my forehead, since you're so special and all. You'll see how special I am soon enough. But you ought to refer to me as Charles, the chatting hmm. artificial librarian and educational system. Charles. <laughs> I'll call you whatever I feel like, glove. I'm definitely just going to end up reverting to calling him Charles. Huh? Is that an army? Go around the crowd. Thanks, bitch. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. <laughs> You've been to China, comrade major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China. I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. Well, what a time to be alive, huh? Yeah. Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, what is this, what is this? An unbelievable scientific breakthrough for the Soviet Union. Soviet cosmonaut, Yuri Gagarin, is the first man to fly into space. The neural network is successfully launched at facility 3826, the world's first global network, and it brings together all of mankind's greatest achievements. You fought in the war, comrade major. Did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. I've been drawing a blank ever since I got injured. It's like there's something stuck in my head, but I... I can't figure out what it is. Crispy critters, man. Fuck. Watch your language, major. We're in a public place. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Worldwide state-sponsored program, the Industrial and Economic Development is launched in the Soviet Union. The pride of the Soviet science is created. Facility 3826, the apex of scientific progress, and home of the greatest scientists in the world. That's a robot? Realizing that its fall is inevitable, inevitable, the Third Reich strikes a terrible, shameful, inhuman blow against all of mankind. The enemy unleashes a deadly virus called the Brown Plague into the world. The disease kills with incredible speed. There is no salvation from the monstrous pandemic, and existing drugs are powerless against it. Yo, what the fuck? Comrades Shinov and Felomonko create the first Soviet polymer-based hydrogen cell. From this moment on, the future of the Soviet robotics takes on global importance. Wait, so is this saying that this is how... The Third Reich strikes a terrible, shameful, inhuman blow against all mankind. The Germans? Pivotal moment in history of science and technology. The greatest minds in the Soviet Union. All them outstanding scientists, including comrades Vavilovs, Karl... Uh, a lot more... Jesus Christ. Russian names. Um, and Shalomoni joined forces, forming a scientific group that lays the foundation for the astonishing scientific and technological advancement in the USSR and beyond. Comrade Sheshinov develops the polymers, scientific miracle that determines the future course of human civilization in the Soviet Union and abroad. 1936, 37, so it's going in 1942, 1943. Huh. Okay, well, that says 46 on it, not 48. 43, okay. Huh. 51. Hmm, okay. Well. 
Is that basically saying, like, the Germans unleashed a pandemic onto the world and just... ...essentially weakened everybody else? Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you That's can. fucking... Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. That is... Insane technology. I think that's what Elon Musk is trying to do with Neuralink, right? I mean, absolutely fucking wild kinds of technology. Um, gonna update the graphics. Damn, look at them arms. Go ahead, don't be shy. You have just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Okay, activate scanner. Hold it. The left alt button. Demon, be gone. <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. Oh. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Very interesting. Okay, thank you. Uh... Okay, I think I got it. Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov is about to begin. Hmm. Well, that looks funky. Greetings, comrades. I don't like that. Holy shit. Today we stand on the greatest event in the history of man. 
Is that the guy that was talking to us earlier? You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office yeah. for the access code. Finally, it's been we left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, that's the least. Drudgery of unskilled labor. Uh, our leader brought us all together, and now he's showing us the way. Father and son, daughter and mother, we all sing his praises every day. I present to you Sounds a lot the like the father. The, future. the neural connector thought. It will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. Fucking wild. Um. Oh. Thought. It's just some female Twitch streamer. That'll be the fucking day, huh? I have a feeling it's also going to turn into a mind control device. I have a feeling that, uh, well, the fucking frame rate of this game is so inconsistent. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. Oh, they're actually wearing something. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? I didn't think that they were. Can I get a can I get a paint? No? Okay. Oh, and it's time to go back downstairs already. Section off here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction, 
flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Well, not right now, but... Those reflections are fucking nutty. There we go, that feels a little smoother. Alright, so, uh, Big Boss wants us to kill somebody, that's... But it's still an internal combustion engine, right? Sure, it's a solid machine. Can't stop progress, though. They're turning out new models daily now. This one's a gas guzzler. Wait until they're all running on electricity. That'll be something. Ah, well, that'll be... Yep, that'll be something. Well, that's fucking dope. Spaceships don't need keys. Isn't that what that one Lincoln commercial said? We wish you a very pleasant journey. What the fuck? Oh shit. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0. Yeah, with I just came from one of them. Every I get it. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic Politics, workers from that. the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyorsk. How about some music? That's more like it. Well, how about that? Some good old Russian music. Oh, and the inconsistencies with the frame rate again. I see you finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Führer. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like... Flying pigs. Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us. Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. Very... Very interesting, uh... Relationship we have with... 
this glove. I'd love to turn it up past medium graphics, but I can't. Frame rate's just not holding. <sighs> But at least I don't have to fucking turn off the music because uh, I don't get paid for this anyway. This is facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is That's a pretty nice. Breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelame Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. Damn. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. 100 orders of what? It's a plant? A hundred orders of literally anything? Like what? What is a hundred orders? Below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over sunflower solar farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire BDNH, as well as the friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Huh. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Is that how you feel? Major, the trove is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about it? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. Major, the trove is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory of the facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov Complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until Those they suddenly don't look became normal. hostile. Oh, oh shit. What are you doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now on. Oh, oh shit. Our ascent is once again continuing normally. 
A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. What? Oh, help me, Comrade Major. I'm falling. What the shit? Oh my god. Just jump at the last second. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? All right, Atomic Heart. Yo, is the glove reviving me? Well, I'm breathing, so my chest goes wide. Good. Oh, hell yeah, dude. You fucking kidding me? Our golden axe? It? This is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you alright, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective's central hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Victor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Sechenov out. Sounds a little bit like mind control. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hope Peter didn't see that. Goddamn robots. Oh, shit, you can collect stuff from them. Ow, what the? Fucking bitch-ass chicken. The game is also pretty jittery. Just as is. Details on the target. Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. Why? I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Come on! Anybody! I can't! Hey, breathe. you! I'm coming! You alive in there? What the fuck? Oh shit. Shit! Uh, get away from me! Ew, is he trying to stuff me in there? Oh, that's so fucking gross. Oh, ow! Uh, go fuck yourself! It's a literal fucking robot. How are you supposed to Oh my god?
Oh, hey, you're the old woman you from earlier. At? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, no ma'am. No sweat, Sonny. <sighs> it's kind of interesting that what they are you doing here anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is... dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla! Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy! Royally fucked! No good! Get over here, beefcake! No, 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 now! Take this key and turn it clockwise! I said clockwise, idiot! Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. Why didn't you do it? You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. I've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. What the fuck? Gun jammed. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. me. You hang on to that key. I got this. <laughs> you didn't install anything fucking faster than. Holy shit! Oh no. Well, Granny's dead. Now you just gotta jump at the last second. Again. Very clever loading screen, except uh, it's still taking forever. Get up there, get up there, get up there, come on. Oh yeah, now's the time. Now's the time. What a goddamn clusterfuck. Jesus Christ. I was just gonna say, up there, it's interesting that they, like, the detail they give, they add just a little bit of extra bass in his voice, because it's like, when you hear yourself talk, um, that's why we don't like hearing our own voices on, like, recordings and shit like this, because the bass of our own voice, like, the warm... The warmness of the vocals isn't present when we hear it through a piece of, you know, through anybody else's ears. But when it resonates in our own head, like, that warmness is added and we're used to it. We're not used to it when we hear it from other places. So, the fact that we're talking and there's a little bit of extra warmth in his voice, it's like it's actually us talking, you know? Why am I crouched? Oh, it's control, okay. Dumb bitch. <laughs> we need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started. And that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. 
Well, I got some of that. The guy on the other side of the fucking wall was being loud as shit. So I guess we should fucking... Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I had to go find the handle first, dude. Relax. Oh my god. Damn. Alright, well. Got some shotgun shells. No shotgun. Yikes. Safe areas. Oh, nice. Break rooms of the game. Safe areas. Which is equipped with a manual safe key machine. Okay. Um... Anything else in here? No? Fading data. That's pretty fucking dope. Uh, since it's a- I'm just gonna use the bathroom real quick. Okay. Uh, and the machines rose for- Oh, god. Forewarned is forearmed. Enemies can perform power attacks that knock P3 down if they hit. When an enemy is charging a power attack, Charles will indicate the best moment to dodge. Upon seeing the red light, use the left shift to dodge. Okay. Ashes. So, fella. May I give you some advice? I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. Whoa. They're all powerful. Attacks Whoa. performed by a robot during a power surge are especially dangerous. Well, at this rate, I won't last long. That first bot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. Neuromed, very... Collecting resources in mass. Hold F in their direction. Move from one to the other without releasing it. Okay, so it's like a... It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along wow, the way. Wow, okay. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Avalokov backpack for storing items and equipment. It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. That's dope as shit, man. Be more appreciative. What is this? Vavilov's research is key to... Great harvest. Okay. Alarm level zero. Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Can I change the control scheme? No, I can't. Customize bot. Yes, I can, dude. Fuck yeah. Uh, control. Oh shit, I'm raping him. Oh, I'm raping. Oh. Didn't do it in time. Oh shit, ouch. Fucking. God damn. Alright, well, I'll try that again next time, see if that works. What is this? What the hell? Chirper? Have a seat, Mihail. I just need to finish my work and then I'll help you with that report. Lab Tech 84, bring Comrade Cole some tea. I'll be with you in a second. Okay? That was the whole thing. Okay, well. Well, that looks interesting. I'll look at that here in a sec. Okay. Hey, is that a pair? Is it working? All pairs at facility 3826 are connected to emergency power and are never turned off. 
This allows employees to remain in constant contact. But I need, like, a password or an access level or something to get into a pair, right? I can provide you with access to any facility device. This also applies to the chirpers you will surely encounter while en route to your mission objective. Got it. Last name, prison number, correctional facility, personality type. B354, uh, N667, S262. Okay. I'll receive additional hazard pay for three working days. Drop the paperwork. Make sure it gets done. Be kinder. I'd like to remind our comrades in the security department that the days of comrades, Stalin's purges are over. Yes, the people carrying out their sentences at Vavilov have committed various crimes, but they're still human beings and they're still our comrades. How we treat them here determines whether or not they learn a lesson from their punishment and recognize the error of their ways. However, I've heard a lot of complaints about prisoners being treated poorly. Let me remind you, this is neither a penal colony nor prison. Be kinder, my friends. We all should be kinder. No? Uh, I have no idea if any of these are important. These are all different files? Jesus Christ. There's so much fucking... Whoa. What are the seven point... whatever? General Director, Security Manager, Genetic Engineer. I don't know if any of these are important. I don't understand. Hmm. They want to go through and read all of them. My name is Charles, comrade major. Charles. Whatever. Hey, how this Petrov guy managed to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will oh, be wow. impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. What about this? Last night, lab assistants, uh, Skopins. Intsev and Lepyoshkin taped a photograph of Comrade Shechenov to a Vova and allowed her to wander the halls in the stage and passed out when this Vova looked at her through a window, give them an official reprimand. Uh, all employees of 3826, including service, are to undergo polymerization June 10th. Make sure everyone signs the protocol after the procedure. Okay. Oh, yeah? Alright, let's do it. Ouch. Oh, God. Oh, my Christ. That... Shit, <laughs> damn. <laughs> that thing fucked me up. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. This is gonna be a fucking... God of War difficulty game. A Thanks, man. You cut off the chirper. Uh, all employees undergo. Okay, Granny Zena, I like to call your attention to the fact that Zenaida Muravyeva, aka Granny Zena, is not allowed to enter or approach the sapling warehouse without authorization under any circumstances. <sighs> Comrade, uh, Granny Zena is has previously taken seeds and saplings for of experimental flowers back to her dwelling under the pretext of performing an, ins an inspection Jesus Christ then cultivated them privately since these plants are in early experimental stages and may have characteristics that have yet to be fully studied this could be dangerous don't react to Granny Zena's rudeness behave yourselves um top secret inform shut such a oh my god i'm gonna have to use fucking abbreviations all over this game i cannot pronounce these fucking four names i'm such a bitch uh about the incident in the germination workshop cordon off the hospital 
where the victim is being treated. Let no one into the ward other than the medical personnel and comrade Suchinov. The incident in the germination workshop. Hmm. Force them to their original size of I mean enemies. Holy fuck! Oh my god. Ah So you're telling me a handful of traders. Holy shit, that scared the fuck out of me. Created by the best minds in the Soviet Union. Technically speaking, collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time during which many more people will die and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. Hmm. Uh, play break rooms will be used by the chess club according to their capacity. Our best players happen to be from the security department and given that dilettantes from the VDNH team lost during the qualifying round, our strategists have the right to spend every free minute honing their skills. We've got a match against the lab assistants from Pavlov coming up. And those guys know their stuff. Price will be 18 boxes of candy from my private stash. Don't ask where I got them. All employees of facility 3826, including service employees, are to undergo. Okay, the same thing. Same thing. Okay, let's get up here. All right. Well, I don't like that. Wait, can I go over the whole thing? Not fucking fight those guys? No, I can't. But at least I'm full health. Ow, fuck. Come on. Bitch. Ow. Oh shit. Alright, doesn't do a whole lot, but that's fine. Okay, uh, bathroom? Are you shitting me? My dearest B, it's too dangerous to keep leaving messages like this. Jesus, this one. bitch. Ready. I'm getting my paperwork together, and then I'll be right behind you. We're going to get out of this nightmare. Yours always, L. This is a very intense. And its absolute worst. I speak not only of our errant and misguided neighbors to the west or the ravages of capitalism, but I, to my shame. Okay. I'm not gonna sit there and listen to the whole thing. Um. Take all of those. Getting a lot of shotgun shells. Not Damn a whole it, lot of shotguns. Everything locked here. Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnetic lock. So I need to fry it with an electromagnetic pulse. How the hell am I going to do that? Your glove can be equipped with an EMP generating shock module. A capsule containing the neuropolymer required to install the shock module should be somewhere on facility grounds. Okay, I'll deal with it. Alright, we're going this way then. Let's 
something's wrong. Oh shit! Oh my god. 